the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. John 14, 17. Spiritual communication represents the bridge between the human and the divine, a channel through which we seek guidance, comfort, and wisdom that transcend human understanding. At the heart of this communication is the relationship with the Holy Spirit, who, according to the scriptures, acts as a counselor, guide, and comforter of the faithful. The connection with the divine spans generations. Prophets, apostles, and saints have reported profound experiences of encounters with God, often mediated by the Holy Spirit. These experiences are not just historical relics, but are teachings on how we can connect with the divine in our own faith journey. Understanding and practicing communication with the Holy Spirit is a journey of spiritual growth and discovery. Thus, we are able to find direction in times of uncertainty, comfort in times of distress, and joy in communion with God. Through this intimate interaction, we strengthen our faith, deepen spiritual understanding, and promote a more fruitful and rewarding Christian life. And how can we develop this vital skill of listening to the Holy Spirit? How to discern His voice and guidance in our daily lives? Reflecting on the Word of God and keeping an open heart, we let the power of the Holy Spirit flow in communicating with us, and thus we can respond to this divine call, tuning spiritual sensitivity and recognizing His voice in our lives. By cultivating faith, Maintaining a pure heart and a hopeful mind, we trust that God will speak to us. The voice of the Holy Spirit is subtle, coming as a whisper, a feeling of peace, a sudden understanding, or a deep conviction. By maintaining this connection with the divine, we learn to discern this voice from our own ideas or external influences. Listening to the Holy Spirit is a process that develops over time, through the practice of prayer and unceasing pursuit of God. The guidance comes from within the heart, and when you feel the Holy Spirit is guiding you, be obedient and strengthen your connection and sensitivity to His voice. To understand how to listen to the Holy Spirit, it is essential to understand who He is. One of the three persons of the Holy Trinity, along with God the Father and God the Son, Jesus Christ. He is as much a guide as a comforter and plays a vital role in spiritual life. His presence is perceived subtly. We feel in our hearts convictions, inner peace, and insights during the reading of the Bible, or even through circumstances and advice from other Christians. His presence is cultivated when we seek the Holy Spirit with all our faith through prayer, worship, and obedience to God. He is responsible for various actions, including conviction of sin, spiritual regeneration through being born again, our sanctification, and providing spiritual gifts for the edification of the church. The presence of the Holy Spirit in a Christian's life is a seal of their salvation and a guarantee of their eternal inheritance. In the Old Testament, he is seen moving over the waters of creation and empowering leaders like Moses and David. In the New Testament, the Spirit plays a crucial role from the birth of Jesus, conceived by the Holy Spirit, to His resurrection. One of the most striking examples of the Holy Spirit's work is at Pentecost, where the apostles are filled with the Spirit and begin to speak in tongues, marking the beginning of the Christian church. The Holy Spirit also guided and strengthened the apostles in their mission to spread the gospel, as evidenced in various passages from the Acts of the Apostles.
When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now there were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. Acts 2, 1, 8. Through prayer, we open our hearts to God, expressing our thoughts, feelings, and desires while seeking His guidance. Meditation, especially on the scriptures, helps us calm the mind and focus on what God is trying to tell us. These practices not only bring us closer to God, but also make us more receptive to the subtle voice of the Holy Spirit. Faith plays a crucial role in connecting with the Holy Spirit believing that God speaks through His Spirit and is willing to communicate with us, is the first step. Furthermore, maintaining an open heart, ready to receive and accept the Spirit's guidance is essential. This involves surrendering to God, setting aside our own wills and biases to truly hear what He has to say. This openness and surrender are acts of faith that prepare our spirit for genuine communication with the Holy Spirit. Differentiating the voice of the Holy Spirit from our own thoughts or other influences can be challenging, but the voice of the Holy Spirit never contradicts the Bible. Any guidance or inspiration should be in harmony with biblical teachings and principles. The voice of the Holy Spirit brings a sense of peace and clarity, even in the midst of difficult decisions. While human thoughts can be fickle and influenced by emotions, the voice of the Holy Spirit is consistent and persistent. The voice of the Holy Spirit often brings a strong sense of conviction, not condemnation. He convinces us to act rightly and in alignment with God's will. The presence of the Holy Spirit in our life is often evidenced by the development of the fruits of the Spirit, such as love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Often, He inspires us in situations that require wisdom and discernment through increased sensitivity to understand complex situations. The Holy Spirit can work through changes in circumstances, opening and closing doors to guide us on the right path, or He may connect through specific and timely answers to our prayers. To feel the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives it's necessary to maintain a daily connection with God. Prayer is the main pathway for communicating and strengthening our relationship with the Holy Spirit. Fasting combined with prayer can heighten sensitivity to hear the Holy Spirit and helps focus on the spiritual, along with dedicating time to meditate on the Word of God and think deeply about the meaning of the Scriptures and how they apply to your life. The relationship with the Holy Spirit is strengthened by obedience to God and the surrender of your will. When you submit to God, it creates fertile ground for the Spirit to work in your life. Therefore, being attentive to the small whispers and guidance of the Spirit requires constant vigilance and willingness to act according to these guidances. The relationship with the Holy Spirit is a continuous process of learning and spiritual growth.
Listening to the Holy Spirit is a journey that can be filled with challenges. Among the most common are the distractions of everyday life that drown out the subtle voice of the Spirit. The difficulty in differentiating God's voice from our own thoughts or external influences and the struggle against personal doubts and insecurities. Modern life, with its constant demands and noise, can make it difficult to practice the stillness and attentive listening necessary to perceive the guidance of the Holy Spirit. When doubt arises, seek guidance and comfort in the Bible. The scriptures provide God's truth and can reaffirm your faith. Questioning and doubting are natural parts of the spiritual journey. These moments are opportunities to deepen your search and understanding of the divine plan. The journey to effectively listen to the Holy Spirit requires persistence and patience. Spiritual growth and communication with the Spirit don't happen overnight. It's a process that can take time and requires continuous commitment. Practice spiritual discipline regularly even when you don't immediately feel the presence or guidance of the Spirit. Over time, the ability to discern and respond to the voice of the Holy Spirit will strengthen. Remember that each step in this journey is valuable and contributes to a deeper and more meaningful relationship with God. By maintaining active communication with God, understanding His nature and the work of the Holy Spirit and how His presence is fundamental to our spiritual growth and guidance, we realize how the practices of prayer, meditation, and Bible study are essential to develop a deeper relationship with the Holy Spirit. Thus, we are challenged daily to differentiate the voice of the Holy Spirit from other influences and recognize common signs of His presence in our everyday life. Ultimately, facing challenges and persisting in the journey of listening to the Holy Spirit are crucial for effective and intimate communication with the Divine. May these teachings encourage us to continue seeking and deepening our communication with the Holy Spirit. This journey is unique for each person and brings invaluable spiritual growth. Persistence, faith, and continuous practice are the keys to developing a more intimate and meaningful relationship with the Holy Spirit. Remember that God desires to communicate with use and that, through the Holy Spirit, we have direct access to His wisdom, comfort, and guidance. May God guide us in our spiritual journey through our reflections. Touch our hearts, strengthening our relationship with the Holy Spirit so that we can cultivate His unconditional love and remain faithful to the Lord's path. God, who has taught the hearts of your faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that we may rightly appreciate all things according to the same Spirit and always enjoy his consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.